Hi everybody. If you are new to my YouTube channel, you're probably the 20th person watching it and subscribing to it. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, please, please subscribe, ring the bell so you can receive notifications when I upload uh, my new videos, which I try to do once a week, not very success successfully yet. So if you don't know me, I'm Boris. I create social media content for clients and for my own uh, business. I work at a cooking school. I own, uh, partly own a cooking school, but this is not part of this tutorial uh, and this video today. So anyway, let's jump right into the topic. Uh, if you are like me, creating social media content for your clients and for yourself, you have probably created some templates on Photoshop. Uh, I mean, if you're working uh, on images, so you have probably created some templates on Photoshop and from time to time, if you are a power user like me, uh, you tend to overwrite your templates because you work and you unconsciously press Command or Control S, depending on what kind of machine you're working. Uh, I am a Mac user and uh, creating a Photoshop templates or a PSDT file um, was kind of frustrating before the last update of uh, my OS. So thank you, Apple, for making it easy and for ruining my video. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, this is probably going to be the title of my uh, this tutorial. Thanks, Apple, for ruining my uh, Photoshop tutorial. Anyway, I'm going to show you uh, how to create a PSDT file. I'm going to talk to you about the difference between a regular PSD and PSDT file, which is uh, basically the fact that if you create a PSDT file, uh, which is the template file, uh, when you open it, it opens a new untitled file and uh, if you press Control or Command S by mistake or intentionally, uh, Photoshop will ask you where to save your new file. It will not save on top of your already polished created template. So uh, it's something similar to a .dot file. If you're a Windows user and you use uh, Word, um, the .dot file is basically a doc template file, a Word template file. All right, so. Uh, let's not fuss anymore. Uh, let's not rant anymore. I'm going to Photoshop and let me open a file that I have already created. I've created this uh, series of story posts from my trip, me and my girlfriend and my partner in life. There she is, Brianna. Uh, so I have created a series of story um, images that I want to post. And here it is, Rome Instagram story. .psd file. Uh, it's a pretty big file. It's 1.75 gigs file. And I don't want to use this as a template all the time. I will do a couple of changes. Uh, for example, I will remove all the images that I have here and I will uh, organize everything. It's going to take a couple of minutes and I will probably fast forward to it. So uh, let's start. First, let me show you uh, how I use my images. Let's go to the first artboard. There are five artboards. And here I have a frame image. So, oops, I think that I I deleted the, the wrong thing. No, I have, I have not, I'm, <laughs> I'm on a different artboard. So here you can see that I have a frame image how you can see this crossing. So this is a frame uh, and I can easily drop anything in here and it will drop it as a um, um, smart object, which is the way I like to resize my images uh, because I don't want to lose quality. I shoot on a DSLR, on a Canon EOS R. Uh, so I don't want to lose quality. So I resize my files as uh, smart objects. So I will keep Going on, here I have a quote. I'll, I'll remove this image. I'm not going to change the text. Here, I'll move the year, month. And I'll keep doing some changes. All right, I have clean up my images. So now I'm not going to change again the text. I don't care about the text right now. 
uh, I can change it anytime I want. So this gives me uh, a nice idea how it's going to look. So I will file, I will go to file, save as, or press the command shift S. Again, as a power user, I try to use the, as much uh, of the short key, shortcut keys as, uh, as possible. So I'll name this Instagram underscore story dash template. And I will save it as a PSD file. Let's see the difference between the two PSD files. You can see Roam Instagram Story, which is 1.7 gigabytes, and Instagram Story Template, which is 91 megabytes. So it's significantly, significantly smaller file. So uh, if you change something here right now in the PSD file, it will uh, it will be changed for for almost forever. <laughs> All right, and if you press Command S, for example, if I go to Portrait Frame, and for some reason I move my title from left to Portrait Frame, yeah, I'm here. And why you don't want to move? Oh, because I'm moving the wrong title, of course. But anyway, uh, let me let me go to the quote. If I want to change the, the position of my title, I can move it to the right and I can move the quote to the right. And if I have made a mistake and I press Command S, you can see that my template is screwed up already. And I have to go through the process of going back, pressing Command Z, Command Z, saving. It's not very, um, very workflow friendly. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save my file. I'm going to close this. I'm going to hide Photoshop and I'm going to go to Instagram story, uh, the place where my Instagram story template. Uh, so before updating to let me show you to Catalina version 10.15.6, I had to go a different way to create a PSDT file. Usually, um, there was one more step, um, which is different from a PC. Uh, I had to go and find my file, right click on it, go to get info. It's the fourth menu from the top, get info. Go and find the name and extension um, section and change my Instagram story template file from psd.psd to .psdt file. Then I had to press enter and press use PSDT because uh, Finder will ask me if I want to preserve my previous extension or use a new one. So now I have a PSDT file, all right? Um, nothing very special. If you don't see your extensions, um, you can do that. So again, get info, find the name and extension and change your extension. Okay, so now, of course, after the update, because Apple has ruined my video again, I can press enter on top of my file, go to the end and change the PSD to PSDT file. Before up the update, uh, if I have done that and I press enter, nothing happened. Just the file kept, kept its PSD extension. Now, you can see the same window coming up. Are you sure you want to change the extension from PSD to PSDT file? Use PSDT and you are basically done. So uh, thanks Apple for ruining my video. Uh, I don't care. I just wanted to show you how you can create a PSDT file. And now I, if I double click on this file, it will open in Photoshop as a new untitled file. You can see it here. And if I press Command S, uh, it will not save over or on top of my story template, it will ask me to save as a new file, right? So I'm not gonna save this, I'm gonna press cancel. Uh, and that was it for today. So uh, if you want me to show you something specific uh, from my workflow, let me know. Drop me a line in the comment section, visit my website, uh, find me on social, anywhere, Instagram, uh, Facebook, um, Twitter, LinkedIn. So 
see you guys on the next one if you want to see and learn a couple of new things. Alright, bye!